What's up everybody and welcome back to my let's play of Super Mario Galaxy. In the last episode we finished up Good Egg Galaxy and also made our way into Honey Hive Galaxy. And well in this episode we're going to be continuing on with Honey Hive Galaxy. Alright, so let's get straight into it. Um, simply, yeah, I do believe we collected all that. And so once we get the three stars from here and probably two more stars, we'll head on to Bowser. But we will be getting all the stars here first before heading on to Bowser. And so I don't believe I ever mentioned, like, how exactly I want to, like, do, I guess, I don't know how to say this, um, like, the, like the uh, galaxies themselves. I want to do them by like basically going in and completing each one like like completely all the way through at least from what we can do so like most galaxies or at least the main ones that are unlocked by your star count basically depending on how many stars that you have um, will all be based on um, we'll complete they usually have three stars and we'll complete all three stars and then we should possibly get a comet and uh, I'll talk about more though, um, what the more of like what those are when we get to it, like what exactly comets are, because I don't believe we've actually encountered one yet. And uh, let's go this way. And I don't know what Mario just did. Then he like ran around in circles. That was kind of weird. Um, so yeah, we can break these open, of course. And okay, that's actually going to take us over to where we need to go next. But I want to head over here first and uh, get a lot of these star bits, because like I've said many, many times, these things are super important for, like, our playthrough and whatnot. I'm not sure if you guys can hear that, but outside my door, someone is packing up a very mean truck, if you know what I mean. It's very loud, I don't know why, where anyone would be going at this time of day. Like really late right now, at least where I am. And one of the things that I love about this game is all of the like, I guess like, kind of like area skips that you can do. Like, I can run up here, and if technically if this was open, I could just like completely like go in there. But like the pathway's not open, so there's no way we can get in at the moment. So uh, we'll actually just leave that alone for now. And gosh, these guys are annoying. They are like literally everywhere, and yeah. Hold on, let's see. Oh, oh, Mario, don't fall. Okay, jeez. Nope. There we go. Should have probably jumped on him to get a uh, coin. And I'll just shake my Wii Remote to get over here. Because that's probably just a safer method. Though you can, like, jump up that like, little pathway there to kind of get up there. And yeah, once we collect 50 and 100 star bits, uh, we get a 1 up, of course, um, like usual. And I want to say it's been a almost, actually it's been a little over a week since I recorded the first three episodes. Because currently at the time of me recording this, Breath of the Wild is still going on. And it's actually still probably in its early stage, within, its, within the first 20 episodes actually. Because I just decided to go ahead and get a head start on like recording it. And um, these videos possibly will go up about halfway into Breath of the Wild's lifetime, lifespan. And um... So they'll kind of, uh, I don't know how to explain it, so it'll kind of be like, one day you'll get, uh, some days you may get both, some days you may get just Mario, some days you may get just Breath of the Wild, we'll just have to see. Um, so these are Wigglers, of course, um, you can ground pound them in any of their body segments to take them out, um, or, um, you can ground pound on the ground nearby, that'll knock them over, and then you can just jump on them, but I find it easier just to ground pound on them in order to um, ensure that they're uh, dead, I guess. And um, we cannot turn, can we? Um, we don't even use our... We go, okay, can't look that way, apparently. Um, I want to look this way, just for the heck of it, just to make sure I'm not missing anything. We could go up there, and there's a pipe up there, but I believe I went up there uh, last time we were here, and I'm spending way too much time on one mission, to be honest. Most of these missions shouldn't take longer than, like, seven minutes, I would say. And so, uh, this one shouldn't be much of a difference, and, uh, I don't believe this is time, so we don't have to worry about, like, this thing, like, clamping down on us or anything. Uh, but this is about the, I think this is the only time that we ever get up here on, like, the very top ledge of, kind of, the main area here. Anyway, we'll just hop into this launch star and, uh, take off. And it's not gonna take us anywhere, but, like, up here, which is 
kind of just out of the way and uh yeah it's kind of funny the queen bee is still way over there on the other island and it's very low poly and she's like the only thing there and she's also very low poly which i think is kind of funny that she doesn't come over to this island or anything but uh the, i guess that's just kind of a i'm not really sure i'm not really sure what it is to be honest i just think it's kind of cool actually and then just kind of leave her over there they decide not to like bring her over also, if you don't jump on the Wigglers and they get up, yeah, they'll become angry and they'll actually charge at you. And then you'll have to ground pound them um, when they get close, because they are faster than you as Mario. You have to be extremely cautious of that. And uh, what does this do? Well, it's going to give us a star power up so we can uh, run through all the uh, piranha plants and I think it's all of them actually. And I'm not going to be able to really tell when, like, the, uh, we run out of power, um, we lost those star bits. I'm probably about out, and I actually timed that pretty closely, and, yeah, it's pretty easy for this game to get about 200 star bits per level, to be completely honest. It's honestly quite simple, and, uh, yeah, you can do a major skip of, like, this entire area just by doing that, and if you go way down to the bottom, there's a, um, live stream. Actually, I don't believe we've actually grab one of those yet and oop. yeah those right there those are live streams i think once we grab it it should tell us what this is yeah your health grew to six and if it drops below four it will return to normal and um this is a brand new enemy here um actually geez i can't remember the name of it let's go talk to this bee up here and uh, he should tell us the name of these enemies if i'm not mistaken those Amanda bugs have taken over our observatory deck. Ooh, they make me so mad. Yeah, so these are Amanda bugs. That's the name of them. And uh, that one up there is actually kind of a boss fight. It's called the. Uh, it's I believe the name in the game is actually just Amanda bug mother and child. I believe that's all it's called. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what it, the game calls it. And uh, it does make a return in Super Mario Galaxy 2, of course. And uh, well, we missed that platform, so we're going to have to wait for this one to come around. Though they are pretty quick about that, so... You now we just got to wait it all the way up. And there's our queen bee in the background. And, uh, yeah, so this is the Mandabug, mother and child. And as soon as you stomp the child, kind of... Oh, wow, you actually take two hits of damage there. So, um, cool thing I want to show off is if you get ready to ground pound, you jump, spin, and then ground pound, Mario will actually kind of, like, target onto the enemy. And, yeah, once you get rid of the child, the mother gets pretty angry. And, uh, so you spin, and then ground pound, and Mario will kind of, like, jump in the direction of an enemy. So, like, if there's an enemy that's not directly under Mario, you can spin before you ground pound, and then he will, um, jump towards that enemy. It's kind of like a homing attack, and it's, uh, pretty cool. But anyway... We'll grab our star and get on out of here. I'm not sure exactly how many, like, um, I guess stars will do per episode in these, like, we can do anywhere from probably, like, two to maybe four per episode. And, uh, yeah, we can save our progress because I have a couple of backup files just in case, um, like, our, uh, videos get or if I have to like pause in between or something goes wrong just anything like that so um let's not waste any time and actually head straight back in now most of these main worlds are like the main galaxies with three main stars that you collect you can collect just in back to back to back order we're gonna have a boss of some sort not all of them but most of them will some of them are have cutscenes, some of them don't, I guess, if you know what I mean. Like, some of them will have their own designated cutscene when you get there yes. and whatnot, and others will just won't. Um, can I grab that star bit? Apparently not. I don't want to turn around because, yeah, every time you're here, those star bits will reappear. And if you're just being diligent for star bits, you should have no problem collecting, like, plenty of star bits um, every time you enter a level. So it uh, shouldn't be too hard to grab them. And, uh, oh, oh. Ah, oh, the whole Mandabug clan has infested our kingdom. Yeah, so the Mandabugs have actually grown more out of control, and okay, that didn't work. Sometimes it's easier just to ground pound versus doing the targeting, unless you're like on a small area, like uh, what we were like up there on the uh, observatory deck. And uh, do I really even need to fight these guys? Probably not. Um, actually, yeah, I'm just gonna grab the star bits and kind of just get out of here, and then I'll break some of these. 
Just for the sake of star bits, I guess. Alright, come on. Alright, I think we can stand right here and we should be able to get a lot of star bits. I think after you break three of these, though, they quit dropping star bits. Yeah. Uh, of course, we'll head up here to this ring and we'll grab a couple more, I guess, because why not? And uh, I don't actually remember where the game wants. Does the game want us to go over there? I think so. We can actually do like a major skip here just by simply doing this and going up. Alright, and then we can take these guys out, I guess, if we wanted to, but there's not really a point. The neighbors are causing trouble again. We would be most grateful for your assistance. Yeah, so the Queen Bee kind of just hops. Uh, she actually moves over here, which is kind of cool for like the final uh, area. And also the one up behind where we spawn is also um, always there every time you load into this level. Anyway, we got B Mario, and yeah, that's a pretty quick skip to like basically get to the end of the level already. And that's within like two minutes maybe of being here, maybe even less than that, maybe even a minute. Um, but this boss fight can be quick, pretty tricky you know, um, if you don't know how to do it. Um, when I was playing through on my personal playthrough, which I'm a little farther ahead now, I think I'm all the way uh, to like the third area. Okay, we kind of missed them there. And ground pound him once. And now I'm just going to start flying. And that's going to kind of start the boss fight. So really we just kind of open up the phase two. And yeah, we'll start to drop bombs below him. We want to fly up before he gets here. Ground pound him while he's in the air. And this will cause phase three. And yeah, a lot of the bosses in this game like to turn red once you, like, hurt them or damage them or whatnot. And he should be coming around any moment now. And if we can, uh, time it right, I was gonna say, if we can time that right, we should be able to get up here and... Let's see, I could grab that one up, but it's not really worth it. And ground pound, maybe? Oh, no, we missed. Blow up above these bombs. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to reach him there. Alright, so let's come back up here. There's bugs on the honey. That's kind of creepy. I don't like that. I kind of want to get off this now. And, oh, uh, he turned sideways. Of course he did. Alright, you want to turn around, buddy, and uh, come back this way. And wow, I missed again. I See, this is... I don't know why I struggle with this phase of the fight so much. Maybe he'll turn around and come back, and I guess while he's over there, we'll go grab this one up, but he's probably going to outrun us, and then... I have to wait for him to come around one more time, and yeah, he drops bombs like crazy. And okay, that didn't work. Um, so you think it would? And uh, shoot this flower to get a coin, get back up to full health. And then, oh jeez, that didn't work either. Don't turn around now. Oh jeez. All right, let's wait for him to come around one more time, maybe. Sorry, friend. Really? Do you have to turn sideways now? Oh, we fell in the water too. Great. Okay, I saw a quick cut there. Fight's taking me a lot longer than it should. Oh gosh, jeez. I don't know why this fight is taking me so long. Oh, we need to get him here. And there we go. We got him. Yeah, this. Yeah, there we go. And I should be the final hit. And uh, we'll get a power star, of course. So let's go get that and get out of here. And then I guess we might as well do one more mission, maybe. Um, I know one that shouldn't take us very long, and it should kind of sit in our kind of range of... Actually, remember to do the final two here in, like, the uh, terrace, maybe. I don't know. We'll see at what time we're at as we do this. So, yeah, we've actually reached over a thousand star bits now, and we've discovered a new galaxy. Yeah, the other galaxy here, and oh, did we unlock a Hungry Luma? Yeah, we did. There he is. So, um, actually, we may as well go do that level, and then we can do the final three in the next episode, I guess. And yeah, so pretty much, yeah, episode five uh, will pretty much already be Bowser. Possibly, I'm not sure. Uh, do we have any tasty star bits? Of course I do, because I've been collecting a bunch. If you feed me a bunch of star bits, I'll burst with snacky happiness and then transform. Yeah, so these are the same guys that we see in the levels, um, like in the different galaxies that will take us to different islands and maybe possibly give us different power stars. And uh, he needs 400 star bits. That's quite a bit, but luckily we have just that many. And 
Well, we just got over 4,000. We're already back down under it. That's it. I'm stuffed. Here we go. Transform! And there he goes. Goodbye, Hungry Luma. Yeah, so every, um... Dome, I guess, has a galaxy for a Hungry Luma. And that galaxy will only ever have one star. And, uh, they'll appear as launch stars. Now, once we beat this level, the launch star will go back to being just a, just a regular pink, like a regular Luma, but it'll be pink. And, uh, yeah, this is Rocky Road. So, I don't really know. Yeah, so, um, every dome should have one of these, uh, levels. And, uh, yeah, they only ever have one star. I also, the quickest way to move here as well is to just, like, jump. And if you need to spin, like, to get over that, uh, electric thing here. So, yeah, if you touch that, and, oh, wow, that was close. Already, we're kind of close. So I've never struggled with this level, from what I can remember. And I'm, oh, I'm too busy trying to collect star bits. It's not going well for me. Um, this level is pretty easy, though. You just have to avoid the holes, and they're like, these guys are like, don't stop here. The star is just up ahead. And, uh, some of them like, I can't go any further. And a long jump can be your friend here like this to get over here and grab the one up yeah now we're at 12 already and also you guys may have noticed my hearts or my like um how many uh lives i have went back down to four at the start of this episode that's because every time you reload the game um your hearts or not really your hearts but your levels drop back down to four every time but uh, after a bit, we should get a spe or really one of our toads will be of great use to us. And uh, yeah, there's the uh, star, the mushroom starship uh, that they were building a couple of episodes back. And once we jump up here, the camera should pan to see it. And it says, hey, we're going back. So yeah, it's completely finished now, and we'll be seeing it in a lot of levels. But, uh, actually, I completely forgot what I was talking about. But, yeah, uh, one of the toads. Um, will become a male toad and he'll uh, carry mail for us and we'll get a letter from uh, Princess Peach every time we load up the game or like after so many levels I think or like you lose so many lives you'll get a letter for, from her and she'll uh, give you five one-ups and yeah the galaxy right there is complete that's our first completed galaxy of the series guys and we've discovered a new galaxy it's the final galaxy of the terrace and that's probably going to be the boss level of the terrace as well And I would say we have t Yeah, see, there's the pink Luma, and the starship is finished. And, uh, yeah, he's not a male toad yet, but, uh, once he is, he should be down there, and then he'll make his way up here once we reload the game. But anyway, guys, I think that's going to do it all for this episode here. So if you guys like this part, a like rating would be greatly appreciated. It helps with the channel a lot. And if you want to see more content like this, please do consider subscribing. But once again, guys, my name is Connor. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.